Hi, my name is Kate Dimbleby, and this is my London Live session. I've brought with me my looper and my ironing board, which is just to bring a comfort of home into the studio. I call her Rosie. And my first song is Happy. It'll be kind of self-explanatory. Oh, I'm feeling such a happy song Just singing and laughing And playing my day along And oh, why don't you sing along with me Why don't you sing your sing we could be happy <laughs> I first started to create music when I was a small child. I was humming along and tunes came out. And then I had a record contract when I was about 18. And I stopped creating music for a bit because I was very much um, working with other people and, and singing their tunes. And, and so that kind of childish spirit has kind of come back recently. And that's where the new album comes from. Really. What we are is delicate and should be held like tiny birds. As we feel it, let it go and flutter there. My songwriting process um, is it kind of quite often I will have a song that comes out fully formed. I think the first song I wrote was when I was dumped by a boyfriend and I was sitting on a bench and it was literally like the whole song downloaded into my brain and I sang it to him at the next gig I possibly could and uh, and since then it's been a bit of a mixture of the, of the two um, but the, the, the songs on the album are a lot of them came out almost fully formed um, and so the fun has been creating the textures around them with my voice to tell the full story. My biggest musical inspiration uh, would have to be somebody like Nina Simone. Um, I guess the mixture of her classical understanding of music with that sort of spirit that she had and obviously the era of that jazz era of the sort of 50s, 60s. I just think she's, she has the whole package and every time I listen to her, I feel like I'm being given another message, really important message. So um, yeah, it would have to be Nina Simone. My next song is called These Things They Will Come. It's kind of a spiritual that was written in the forests of Canada. Mm -hmm. How long will it be 
And she said, hold on, hold on. These things, they come. She said, hold on, hold on. These things, they will come. My career highlight to date would have to be playing off-Broadway in New York a couple of years ago with a show that I'd made um, about a singer-songwriter called Dory Previn. And it was just a fantastic experience to be in New York for three weeks performing every night and feeling the buzz around me. It was great. My favourite London venue now would have to be the Crazy Cox uh, Brasserie Zadell in Piccadilly Circus. It's a like art deco room, like they don't make them anymore, with 100 people and it's just so intimate and you, you can take everyone on a proper ride in that kind of venue. I love it. If we let it out, if we let it out. So the album is available from the 23rd of February, the album Songbirds, um, and I think it's on online, on digital, the whole caboodle, and Folkstock Records, who are the label. Um, and I'm going to be doing a tour to support the album, which is going to combine this crazy mixture of storytelling and interactive singing with the audience, um, and will be at a venue near you from now till July. My last song is called Harder Than You Think to write a song about walking. Harder than you think to write a song about walking. Harder than you think to walk in time. Harder than you think to write a song about walking. Harder than you think to walk in time. Harder than you think to write a song about walking. Harder than you think to walk in time. Harder than you think to write a song about walking. Harder than you think to walk in time. Harder than you think to write a song about walking. Harder than you think to walk in time. Harder than you think to write a song about walking. Harder than you think to walk in time.